I want to ask you guys to imagine that your mind was a movie director. And so what does the movie director do? The movie director is in charge of the lighting, the music, how you see the characters, the environment which you see the characters in. The movie director is in charge of how you feel during the experience of the movie. By using all of these um, techniques, he impacts the way that you feel. He impacts the way that you experience this movie. So does the mind not do that? Yes, the mind impacts. It has all these um, techniques to impact the way that you experience reality and the way that you perceive reality. So this gives the mind a great power. And do you think that the mind should have such a great power? Think about it, how it relates to your life. So say you're having a bad day. Just think about how much you're focusing on all the negativity. You're, you're almost searching for negativity in your surroundings and amongst the people that you're coming in contact to with. Now, do we want that? Should the mind be allowed to, to make us focus on anything that it wants? No, of course not. And yet we do, we do that. And I think in part it's because we're connected to our minds. We think that our minds in us are one and the same. So now think about it this way. <clears throat> you're, you're on drugs and so your mind is in an altered state. So now your mind in that altered state is going to be a, different than it is usually, right? It's going to be saying different stuff. It's going to be having different thoughts. It's going to be focusing on different things. Your mind is going to be different than it is in the normal state of mind. So is this altered state of mind you? Are you connected with that? Like you'll say, oh, I, I was, my mind was going crazy. Um, I wasn't me when I'm in that altered state of mind. But now when you're in a normal state of mind, is it any different? Now, whatever your mind is saying in the normal state of mind, why is that any different from the altered state? In the altered state, you're not connected to it. You don't think that that's you. But it's the same thing when your mind is the normal state. It is not you. It's affecting you. It's almost like an organ. It's, it's, it has functions and it does certain things, but it's not you. So I think if we were less connected to our mind and we didn't think that it was us, it would be easier for us to say stop it to, to letting the mind affect our, our perception of reality and, and the mind affecting our experience of reality so much without questioning. Because we don't question this stuff. We, we just think our mind makes us kind of see the world how it makes us see it and, and that's it we don't think twice about it we don't think that we could change it but we can and the way that you you would change um, this whole phenomenon is by being aware of the process so being aware of this process being in place is what takes away the power of the process if I'm aware that my mind is affecting me as much as it does, for the moment that I am aware of it, it can affect me. So if I'm aware that I'm having a bad day and my mind is kind of playing tricks on me to contribute to this bad day, for the moment that I'm aware of this, it can't do it. It doesn't have the power. And it's just for that one moment that I'm aware of it, it will not be able to have the power. Then when I lose my awareness of it and I kind of go into the mind and go into the thoughts, that's when it, it will have the power to affect me and I am going to see all the negativity and, and have a bad day. But for that moment that I'm aware of the whole process and if I sustain that awareness, which you can do with practice, um, the mind has no power over me. And that is just such a beautiful... Thing. It's such a beautiful experience to just be able to go amongst your life without the burden of the mind, without the mind telling you this and that and affecting you 
this way and making you see this and focus on that. Um, it's just so, it, it's just such a clarity. And, and that is what people are referring to when they, they say happiness or inner peace or joy, nirvana. I call it thoughtless. And um, that's what I'm just trying to teach every to, everybody to be, is just be thoughtless. Just be unburdened by the mind, and it's a very beautiful experience, and I hope you get to share it.